Hello guys, today we're going to remodel this Ford Explorer gauge cluster Ford Explorer second generation We're going to get rid of this uh, film under here that makes this diode uh, light turn blue We're going to install these diodes Oh, you see? This one already broken with uh, with a resistor on uh, 1 kilo ohm so they're going to be bright get the second one they're going to be bright but they're going to be green through this uh, through this stuff through this film and going to be nice also I'm going to get rid of this uh, window on the shifter display I'm going to install this gauge this gauge for this uh, temperature of my automatic transmission here so it's uh, it's little but uh, all the other place it's going to be in a black plastic so I'm going to fully disassemble fully open this Taking off these uh, arrows, these gauge arrows. So in order to disassemble this and get rid of this, uh, I'm going to get rid of these arrows. I gotta take off these gauge arrows. So it's a tough job to do. So it's going to be interesting. Stay tuned. First, we gotta unscrew this. I'm going to do this with a flat screwdriver. Because I don't have this special tool. So, you know, as you know, Russians don't use much of these instruments. Russians use a screwdriver, pair of pliers, and some mother. I'm gonna do it first time. I never take, I never taken out gauge arrows. I only heard how they do it, but never did it. So I'm doing this first time and show it to you all this grime. Ta da! Just like this. So we see this gauges. We gotta, we gotta know exactly where these arrows go. This has this position, but it can fall. This one can fall. So we gotta take out these soldiers, how we say it in Russia. Just taking it out like this. One soldier, and you see this arrow gone low. We do it, move it freely. So I'm gonna photograph this arrow, how it is. We did one photo, you see here. We're gonna do it how it was, like this, and two soldiers here and there, taking off one, taking off two. Maybe I should not, uh, I should not touch them, but it's okay. Next, we're going to. We're going to take off this this shit, and we gotta do it with the knife. Now I'm going to do uh, take off these gauges. So I'm trying to do it by hand. I 
like this and it's kind of hard so better use some tool for this so we got this tool kind of special who said to me that air was going to be take off easy you liars they have manual on me oh here we go first arrow we took off first arrow so it goes here It's not easy, easy. It goes here, it goes here, and it goes here. I hope I didn't broke anything. So now we gotta to take off this. This plastic it breaks a little. Oh here we go. We took off the first one. It's nearly pure. So this is a filter. So we're going to took uh, add this and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next after I clean some of this with this uh, with this stuff I cleaned it a little we're going to get rid of this blue filter light filter I'm going to just scrape it scrape it out like this so it's going to to let the light go and no change it it's, it's gonna be green so it's gonna be green. So guys, I scrape it with this thing and do it like this. Like this. Scrape, 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 scrape. And you see I'm gonna show you the very important thing. How we check it. You see how we check it. So we should scrape this here and even this uh, symbol of this gas station and this red stripe so we're going to see it clearly you see and this is a kind of a suck this sucks and this cool and th those symbols we not touch because they not uh, have this uh, filter and this filter on this red stripe is it is and, and it is in here I don't know what it is why it is but it's really sucky. It's really you see. It it's it looks blurry. It looks dark. So guys, now we proceed to the lamps. We proceed to the diodes. So now we're going to test uh, where is plus and where is minus. It is lighting this and this. The plus is here. So I'm going to mark it. So we're going to unsolder this one and going to solder green ones. Like this and like this. Positive. Positive is on resistor. You see how it is? Kind of bright. First, and second. I'm going to test how it is. You see, positive and negative 
Hey, it's lit. I can show to you how works this old diet, which is burned. You can see. What happened to him? You see? It's because there was no resistor. No resistor and... Uh, it don't want to work on 14 volts. What it is, is what it is. I made a little progress and I done second pair. So we're going to see now. You see? So you see I installed this gauge which going to measure this uh, automatic transmission temperature and now we gotta to we gotta close this window. So I just uh, pick a piece of carton and the uh, tape. And we're doing it like this. Now we're gonna put some power here and second one so we go in to check how it works right so now I gotta glue this back and uh, how we gonna do it I think it's gonna be enough So guys, I made it. I think, I hope it's correct. Uh, all arrows, I think, uh, gonna go where they should be. So now I'm going to put this less, and then I'm trying to gonna try to lead uh, um, at least uh, this couple of lamps and this gauge uh, and show it to you, and then I'm going to show you on the car. Stay tuned. So this is a cool moment, we do this, we have a clean, modern, good looking and functional cluster and I hope I'm gonna enjoy it from now on. It connected to those pair of lamps, so don't be, don't be confused. Oh hey, it working. You see, good green light and a blue light on this temperature. Temperature at my house at 28 degrees Celsius. Oh, bad contact. Bad contact, I'm sorry. Hello guys, it's still me, but before we go on to install this dashboard, I'm going to do the most important thing. Most important thing that I was planning to do many times ago. I'm gonna cut this cut this locker that prevent me to take off this to take off this connector. You see, it scratch a lot. It's really pain in the ass to get it off. <laughs> Here you go. A little mod. Now it's going to be great. And now I'm going to show you how to take it off. So guys, now we're gonna test it. Oh, here we go, we see this gauge. I made it, it lit without these lights. So start it up. Ho oh, ho, you see? And now, the main thing, turning the light. Yeah! Light is on, guys. It's good. This region is a little higher than normal, it should be in the middle, 
this is normal, this is normal, I guess. This is normal and this is normal too. Uh, this is the the main thing on the Explorer, as you know. Everything other voltage, temperature of the engine, uh, RPMs, and the speed I got right here. So I got this uh, good green light. I got this automatic transmission sensor, and we're good to go. Subscribe to my channel. Bye bye. Press thumbs up and write your comments down below. Don't forget.